Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. This is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. In today's video, I have three budget friendly DIYs that I know you are going to enjoy. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. So for this DIY, we're doing these two mini wooden risers and these are round plaques that are from the Dollar Tree. So what I did, I cut strips of masking tape and just placed them evenly on top of the, the board. And this is because I want to have two tone colors. So after I put the tape down on both black, I just trimmed off the excess tape from around the edges. I then took some wooden beads that I had and I am going to glue those on the bottom of the plaque. And I just placed them evenly and then glued, glued them on. And I did that for both pieces. Then I am going in with my American, early American wood stain and I just gently or should have gently stained the wood but I didn't. I obviously placed too much and also I went across the grain and that caused leakage. So I stained both pieces as well as the top as well as the sides and I left the bottom unstained because I didn't want to stain the bottom so I did that for both pieces and then because I stained the first plaque on the grain and caused it to bleed I was trying my best not to repeat that with the second one so I made sure to, to stain it cross grain now this is the part that I love I love removing the tape and revealing the color beneath that just gave me a lot of fun doing that. Now this is my attempt at correcting the problem. So I taped over the section that I do not want to paint and I mixed a drop of this yellow paint with some white paint to give me a cream color. And then I'm just covering the area that bled with the color with the paint the original intention was to keep the natural color of the wood along with the stained section but because some of the stained areas bled i just used the paint to correct that and in order to have both of them looking just the same, I, I stained, I painted both of them. I then used my heat gun to dry and then applied some Mod Podge on both stand. Now here is my favorite part of this DIY, removing the tape. I just love removing the tape and exposing the beauty of the DIY. When applying the Mod Podge, you want to make sure that you cover all the exposed areas, even underneath. And this is how they both look. I love the two-tone color of these stand and they're looking so beautiful now these two i'm gonna call them viz i got these at the 79 cent store for 39 cents each and i'm just using these for decoration purposes so i added some white rocks and succulents and i was done there you have it. 
this is just an idea as to how you can use these stands i will be using those vases or planters in another diy for this next diy i'm using the bottom half of the crafter square wooden laser cut boxes four small cubes uh, some wood glue you're going to need some wood glue as well as your hot glue and some craft stick so what i'm doing i'm just taking the small cube and i'm gluing down those to the base because those are going to act as the stand then i'm taking the the craft sticks i am going to cut uh, just measure and cut where i need to place them down and just align them to ensure I have them spaced evenly. You're also going to need a few of the smaller craft sticks to fill the gaps. So I measured and then I just cut and you're only cutting just one end. So you cut one end and you place those place it on the box and glue that down space them evenly and then you just use a smaller craft sticks you're gonna shape that down to fit in the gap and glue those on after I was done gluing on the craft sticks on all four sides, I then took some Dollar Tree spackle and close up the open spaces right across or right around the four sides. I then took the sanding block and I sanded it down to make sure that all the sides were smooth. Then I took a damp paper towel and just wipe off the excess dust now what I'm doing I am taking a craft stick just measuring and I'm going to be cutting four pieces to place on the inside and that is just for extra security now this is another fun part that I like to doing I'm taking my ruler and I'm measuring three inches down on one side and then an inch down on the other side I am going to use a thin line to connect both measurements then I'm taking some masking tape and I'm taping that on top of the line that I drew and that is to give me the space that I do not want to paint I then took some black paint and I am painting the lower half of the box I believe I gave that two coats of black paint. I then took some metallic gold paint uh, from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm now painting the top half of the box. And I also gave that two coats. I then took my heat gun and dried it. And now I am removing the tape to expose the, the section or the area that was covered. Now I had some tape, some paint left over from the mini stand and I'm just using that to cover the exposed area of the craft stick. I again used my heat gun to dry that and then I applied some mud podge to seal everything in. And now it's just time to decorate this little box so I'm placing one of those square Dollar Tree candle holders on the inside and just adding some succulents and this DIY is done for this third DIY I'm calling this a decorative stand or riser and I'm taking this plaque, decorative wall plaque from the Dollar Tree, removing the canvas from the frame. And I must say this DIY, it, I developed a love-hate relationship with it. So I took that off and I'm now going to stain the frame 
with my um, early American stain. And now you see in the corner of the video um, Dollar Tree doilies, which I had planned to use but then changed my mind and decided not to. So I'm going to place some of these wooden blocks on the inside to form a base on top of which I will be placing uh, some craft stick to form a surface. So I took two dowels and I cut that down to fit in the middle. I'm just adding the blocks. I'm going to glue them in with the wood glue as well as a hot glue to secure them properly. Now this is a craft stick. I'm just trimming them down to size, cutting them at an angle and gluing them in. And I did that until I was done covering all the areas. Hey, if you got this far in the video, thank you for sticking around. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so when I was done layering the craft sticks on the top, I flipped it over and just cut some pieces and glued those down. And this is where I fell in love with this project. However, I decided to uh, play, go a little further with it. But before I did that, I covered the back and then I took the spackle and covered the area where the cardboard was then wiped it down with a damp uh, paper towel and this is where it went downhill for me I suddenly started losing my love for this project but I was invested so I decided to continue so now I took some um, caulking and I covered the excess holes that were showing on the top and it gave it left a white mark which I wasn't particularly liking at the time so I decided to stain it and it went further downhill for me <laughs> but I wasn't giving up so I decided to just add some some legs took some blocks and glued those down at the, at the bottom I then took this macrame cord that I had uh, just to cover where the cardboard was and where the, the spackle was and I glued that on as well. I'm trying to revive it to give it some fresh look. I then went in for the canvas that I removed at the beginning and just glued that on the surface to cover that, that stained look. So I just cut it down to shape and glued it on and then took a piece of the cord and glued that on and I was done with this DIY. And I think it turned out beautiful uh, for a rough middle, not beginning, but middle um, half of it, of completing this video. I think it turned out well. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So there you have it guys, these beautiful wood DIYs. I absolutely love how they turned out. Let me know in the comments below which of these were your favorite and whether you would try one of these. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll catch you in my next one.